folks. Jeff Eubanks here, coming from the subarctic regions of North Georgia, the day after Christmas. Christmas Eve day, it was six degrees here to own the farm. And uh, it was 15 this morning. So uh, we have had some unusually cool weather for North Georgia. I know the last video put out, I was concerned about my uh, my livestock, especially my oldest goat. Everything, everything, as far as the four four footed animals have survived. Uh, I'm very concerned about my bees because I, it's been uh, cold for a prolonged period, so I don't know how they're going to fare. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see. One of the wait and see type games. But I thought I'd do a little show and tell today of what I got for Christmas. First and foremost, got me a Garmin Instinct watch. It's a smart watch, folks. But it's not big as my arm. My buddy Mark had one of these, and he can tie it to his collars on his squirrel dogs and track them. It tells me my heart rate, the time, the date, sunrise, sunset, current weather, weather by the hour, and the five-day forecast. And it will track me, yes. Uh, tracks my sleeping habits, all that good stuff. I went for uh, a walk this morning, my last day off of the Christmas holidays. But uh, that's one thing I'm going to start doing better. I'm not making it a New Year's resolution, but I'm going to do it better. Uh, try to get some exercise. Uh, slim down on my middle-aged uh, uh, calling card. <laughs> but anyway, uh, to walk around our property one time is .62 miles. That's five-eighths of a mile. And I did it in like 21 minutes. Just out there, you know, just scooting around. Saw eight deer while I was out there. Dad blame things have ruined, ruined my blueberry bushes. Well, a buck cat. <clears throat> Got a, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and mention this before I forget. My wife got me the Catch a Better Life book by Jimmy Houston. It's a devotional book, 365 devotion. One devotion for every day, <clears throat> along with um, a scripture. A devotion to go along with that scripture and a fishing tip. I don't fish. I like catching, but don't fish. But if you've never watched him on YouTube, I'm going to try to figure out how to link this. This is just absolutely one of the best things I've come across on YouTube. And Jimmy is just a super, super nice guy. He'll remind you of a granddaddy. Yeah, well, he is a granddaddy, but but yeah, he has great. That is a great channel. So if I can figure out how, I'm gonna link Jimmy in this. And uh, if you if you know, been out first year, a lot of people will uh, do like I said, you know, New Year's resolutions. Well, if you're thinking about trying to get a little better walk with God, whether you're Baptist, Methodist, whatever, I think this would be very beneficial to you. Uh, let's see. Oh, how many of you know what this is? And you're saying, well, let's see, is it a scarf? It could be, but it's not. This, my friends, is a gun sock. And what you do, you stick your gun down in there when you store it in your gun case. And it's, it's treated with some type of uh, um, per... Uh, what do you call it? A preservative, preventative, rust, rust preventative, rust preventative, to keep your guns in good shape. So I got some of those, and of course I got the staple, you know, underwear and socks, stuff like that. Uh, this, this, my friends, is a toolbox for my tractor. 
See, I got a 1972 Ford 2000 tractor. It don't have a toolbox on it. I got me a toolbox. Uh, I got some gift cards to uh, Bass Pro. No, 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 not Bass Pro. What's that? Cabela's. That's it. See, I'm going hunting next fall, feather hunting. So uh, we did that. But we weathered the storm real well. And when I say storm, the cold weather, oh, I've only had one pipe to freeze, and it's down here in the pipe layer, a pipe uh, theater. Uh, I don't have a real good heating system down here, and the uh, cold water froze under the sink. No big deal. Fixed it. Put a little heater over there, opened the gates, the gates, the door. Well, we had a good time with family and friends. Um, I hope everybody had time to get together with family. You know, I was thinking about that. Uh, four years ago, <clears throat> last, a week ago Sunday, on the 18th, I lost my dad. And uh, then his birthday and my mom's birthday is the 24th of December. So we lost dad, what, six days before his birthday. And, uh, you know, those of you who's lost real close loved ones, you know what it is. Um, you know, holidays, rough, rough. And the fact that, you know, daddy's birthday, uh, Christmas, and we lost him all within a week of time, you know, it's just rough. But I was thinking, and I was out walking around the property this morning, about landmarks. And that's one thing that my holidays are missed now. Many landmarks are gone. My dad, my aunt, my uncle, uh, two uncles that's gone now, uh, my sister, my oldest sister. Uh, a lot of the landmarks from Christmas is gone. My sister Elaine was always such a big preparer of the meals and she always tur did the turkey and you know, the big meal, the big meat, but she's gone now. And just the landmarks in my life. And, you know, growing up, <clears throat> I can remember family and friends no longer here. And, you know, you might say, well, Jeff, I, I really don't have anything, anything like it in my life. Well, you know, me being from Georgia, I guess one of the claims to fame Georgia has is Stone Mountain. The largest piece of, of exposed granite, I think, is house for termed. Of course, I'm sure that's just for a matter of time before some up-and-coming country decides they want to be known for that, and they'll dig one up, and then we won't have that. And of course, some people don't like it because of the carbon that's on it, but, you know, I don't care about that carbon. It don't bother me. It shouldn't bother anybody, but it does. But, you know, I can remember going to Florida many times and down there, and, and uh, I can't even remember what town it is now. Somewhere close to Dothan, I think. There's a pig on the side of the road. It's a, it's a steel pig. And what it is, it's a uh, recycling center. And they've got a, a pig that they've made out of scrap pieces of steel. And that pig's on the side of the road. I can remember that from this high. And of course, down in Panama City, they got big Gus down there in Angelo. It's that big old 20,000 pound steer. But down where you get off of. Um, 431 on the 231, I think it's, the, it's right there in Dothan. Where you turn left, there's a little strip mall there, and there's an old, well, I haven't been down there in a couple of three, four years, but there's an old West Building Supply sign. The company is no longer there, but the sign is there, and I've been using that as a, 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 reference point in space to know, okay, this is where he, this is where he turns, Jeff. And, uh, you know, I've joked with uh, many, many of my friends about, you know, if they ever tear that sign down, I won't be able to get to Panama City. Good thing I got a phone now to tell me. But, you know, those are just things in our lives that are guidestones. They're, they're landmarks, things like that. <clears throat> and, uh, People in our lives, which were guidestones and landmarks, they, they're, they're passing away. Uh, some of them way too quickly. But 
just you just gotta think back and remember the good times you had with them, stuff like that. So, but I hope everybody, I mean, and everybody out there, had a great uh, Christmas. I hope everybody took time to to realize what we celebrate Christmas for, and uh, you know, just uh, had you know. Uh, time to rest from the hustle and bustle of the world. You know, there's not a lot of things we can do to fix the world. About the only thing we can control is about like what is it, about a two foot square area around us. <laughs> but I hope everybody did take time and enjoy the Christmas holiday. And like I said, if and I'm not giving Jimmy a plug here, but if you are considering a um, a New Year's resolution, and that might include a qu closer walk with the supreme architect of the universe. <clears throat> Some of you brothers out there might understand that. <clears throat> this right here would be a great place to start. Great place to start. And like I said, I'm gonna try to leave, leave one of them fancy links. Uh, and Jimmy doesn't know I do, um, Jimmy don't know I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Jimmy don't know me. <laughs> but I really enjoy listening to him. So uh, hey, I'm gonna cut on out of here. Uh, I've gotta go, when I was out walking, I noticed the goats was out of water. Well, they got a little bit of ice left. Boy, that's one thing that sucks about having livestock in cold weather, trying to keep them water. But uh, I wish I had, what, what's the deal with that? I wish I had some running water on my property. If I ever buy any more property, I'm going to have running water on it. Yes, sir. I'm going to call it my, my own little, I don't know what I'll call it. I'm going to call it something real neat. So, hey, you're still here with me. Like this video. I appreciate all the likes. I picked up quite a few subscribers. I appreciate your subscriptions to my channel. I hope that I bring you some enjoyment, uh, some thought-provoking pro thought ideas, and things to ponder. And you know, I had a, a buddy put on Facebook. He was reading the Christmas story. And he said a word jumped out at him like he had never jumped out before. And it's when Mary was approached by the angel. Was it Gabriel? Yeah, Gabriel. And um, he told her all was going to happen. And it said Mary pondered these things in her heart. You know, we need to ponder things more often. Yeah. So anyway, we'll catch back up to y'all later on. So I'm going to see if my little, uh oh I left it on. I hope it didn't run the battery down. We're going to see if the thing turns it off. If it don't, you'll see me reach up there and poke that thing. Jeff Eubanks, come by and see me sometime. It didn't work, did it? Well, I was more successful on hooking up my wife's uh, ring doorbell. I'm going to try it one more time closer. I bet I let it done run the battery down. No, I turned it off. I'm thinking didn't realize. I turned it off so it wouldn't run it down. Okay, we're going to try it one more time. Contact. <laughs>